Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to solve this multidex issue. So during your React Native journey, you're going to be faced with the time when you install packages and then the methods in your application exceed the 64K limit that Android sets. So this normally happens when you're installing libraries, like I've seen it with, I think the Firebase libraries and also the Scratch screen libraries. So right now I just reproduced this error here. So right now I'm unable to run my app in any way because it is telling me that I've exceeded that 564k method limit. So the way you would solve that in React Native is you want to enable multidex in your applications. So here, this is my React Native project here. Let me bring it up. Okay, so this is my React Native project here. So what you want to do is you want to search for default config here. So I'm gonna go here and type in default config. It's gonna bring up these files. Then I'm gonna go to the Android app Gradle file. Then here we want to add multidex enabled. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is to add the multidex enable dependency in your build.gradle. Okay, so we want to go to build.gradle. I'm actually going to come in Android Studio and then build.gradle is here. Then over here, we want to add this dependency. So here what we are doing is we are specifying the multidex version that we want to use. And then we are, we are basically adding it as a variable to our dependency string. But actually what you could do here to make things consistent with the way we are adding this is you could just pass it as a value not a variable like this so now that we have this we can go ahead and sync these changes so that it downloads the dependency because everything else we are going to do from here will de depend on us have having have having installed this then now that that's done you want to go to our main application file so over here instead of us extending application you want to, to extend multidex application so i'm gonna add multidex application like this once this is done you want to make sure that your manifest file is pointing to use this class as the application uh, as the application class so over here you want to make sure that this is the main activity then now we can try to run our application okay you will see that now it is installing previously it wasn't even getting here and now it's gonna go ahead and run very well on my application so you see that now it is working properly on the phone okay so i hope that was a little helpful if it was please consider giving giving the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you soon